Hey everyone, it's Alicia with Twisted Tarot, and I'm back with another Pick a Pile reading. So this reading is going to be, how does your person feel about you? This could be a soulmate, twin flame, uh, karmic, just whoever you're asking about. Um, it is not gender specific, so um, it can resonate for any gender or any type of relationship. And we have three different piles here today. Pile number one is this crystal agate geode. Pile number two is this beautiful sun tablet. And pile number three is this beautiful sun bottle. This is a um, beautiful um, creation by my friend Lonnie and she goes by Kitchy Witchy for her design. So I will link her information below. She does a lot of markets in Denton. Um, we do a lot of business together. Um, her creations are so unique and so special and she is amazing. So check her out. Um, I'm not sure where the sun tablet came from. I will see if I can link that as well. Um, that was something that was purchased by her for me at, at one of our markets that we did together. So um, this is very uh, going to be a very beautiful reading. So um, I can't wait to do it for y'all. Remember that it is general. So take what's yours and leave the rest. And I'll see you over at your pile. Okay, so if you picked pile number one, this beautiful, I think it's a Brazilian um, agate geode, something like that. I could be wrong about the name. Uh, hey, sorry about my dog, y'all. Um, things have been irritating her in the neighborhood, so interestingly enough. So I apologize, so she might, I might have to stop the video. <laughs> I hope not, because I've tried to do your reading like four times. Four, okay? This is number four. Okay, so if you pick this pile, let's find out um, what your person feels about you. This could be any type of soul connection. Um, however you define it, I will say terms like soulmate, twin flame, gender specific words that I'm using are not intentional. I'll try to use your person as much as possible, but remember we have both feminine and masculine energies within, our, within us. And so it's not meant to offend anybody and it doesn't matter what type of relationship you're in. I believe on this channel and I will always be open to this. Everybody who knows me from the very beginning that love is love. So, um, that being said, uh, let's get into your reading. <laughs> I am an intuitive tarot card reader and I'm very excited to do your reading today. I'm trying to keep the vibes high because I'm going to tell you what your person, how they feel about you right offhand is um, they're sad about you. Um, they really are. They're upset. Um, they deeply miss you. Um, there's some type of separation and being wanting to try again. Like it's almost like this connection. It got really messed up for some of you. This is like what I'm feeling. And remember, it's general. Um, and this is only some of you. But that it was got really messed up. Um somehow and you know relationships are two-way street so I, I don't know who's at fault necessarily um but we're gonna find out i also felt in this pile that someone who was listening to the channel and i would hope um if you um if everything translates correctly that you um comment below because i heard someone um, speaking Polish and I that's a new one for me I mean I've had Spanish before um, maybe German I'd say that there's some but like Polish has never come up um, while I've been doing um, a reading so somebody please comment down below if you're the one who has Polish background or speaks Polish or something like that it's coming through very very strongly so um, or your person does. Okay, so if they speak Polish, oh my gosh, if they speak Polish, like what's happening in my head right now is super sexy. And I'm like, dude, I want to wanna get me like a Polish speaking um, person, man. Ooh, okay. All right. So that's going to resonate for someone. No, obviously not all of you, but I had to say it because it kept coming through very, very strongly. Okay, so um, the last time I recorded your reading, it was magical. I kept the cards I had recorded and taken pictures, which is for the grace of everything <laughs> sacred. So I was so happy that I did so because when I did that, then I was able to kind of um, get your cards back, place them. There are some more that are not from the original pull, but I was called to pull them because the energy had sl slightly changed. 
So let's get into your reading. Sorry, I talk so much, you guys. So Mercury's really popping off. Okay, we have Gemini. No wonder. Okay, so your person could be a Gemini um, or they have Gemini in their chart, but this is also them wanting to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. They enjoy your banter. They enjoy the way your conversations go. They want more conversations with you. We have Neptune here. So Neptune is all about um, illusions and <laughs> delusions sometimes as well. Um, they want to know if this connection is just an illusion and they really want the truth from you. Um, we have Taurus reversed. So Taurus could be in their chart, like I said, or uh, factor strongly into the into this connection. When Taurus is reversed like that, and then we have Uranus, and Uranus is also reversed, um, I'm feeling that there is like a stubborn energy. There's um, someone's upset here. Um, for sure. They want to communicate about how upset they are. They're feeling like very stubborn about this. Like they have to get this out to you. Now, for some of you, this is someone who broke a sacred contract in the spiritual realm. Oh, oh man. They're feeling a lot of emotions. I'm sorry. I'm very overwhelmed here. So give me just a minute. I'm going to get some of these cards out, get the feelings. They want to fight for you. They feel very protective over your connection. They're protective over what they, what they keep saying is like, you're theirs. Um, I know you're not a possession, but I am saying this person's very possessive of you. I'm going to go into some of the astrology too as well with the uh, Gemini, with these cards out here because they do mean something um, in the book and I've been trying to uh, work at that here for y'all and get some of that, uh, that uh, in the reading for these astrology cards because they do have a significant meaning. So yeah, um, I'm going to see if I can find that here real quick. If not, then I'll just go on with the reading and it, you know, maybe I'll find it out here on the table somewhere. But uh, okay, there's got to be a book here somewhere. Books, books, books. There it is. Oh my goodness. Ah, listen to that intuition. Um, yeah, they want me to start. Like, I, they're just ready out the gate. Like, they want to talk so badly. Okay, but I feel like they need to tell you about some of the these. So we're going to keep going here with some of the cards. trying to have the spiritual strength here they're trying to regenerate their spiritual strength in order to kind of be this warrior of love here we have spiritual strength we have hope nine and 17 seven and one is is eight so you it goes in like um secession, secession. i feel like um the hope if they could just find their light their hope then they'll be able to get this spiritual strength so they want me to flip it and now they're singing Missy Elliott, a flip it in reverse. But I don't remember the name of that the, that uh, exact song. You guys will have to comment down below. <laughs> I know y'all are going to be like, uh-huh, yeah, jamming. Okay, so that's definitely coming through here. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So they're, they're trying to figure out something to do with their individuality. They're trying to have the spiritual strength um, and maintain this, but it is hard for them. I feel like they're struggling right now with that very strongly. And it's affecting like their mental health. Um, they are trying to have some type of faith here um, in, in this situation. Okay, we have ready to take a chance. Okay, so this is like the full energy. So they are um, preparing for this or they want to take a chance towards you, towards this connection because they know they're being divinely guided. Number 27, 
is another number nine. So look up the number nine and see what that means to you as an angel number. Um, so yeah, the, the divine is, is showing them in the right direction. They're saying like, bro, fight for this. Cause there's abundance here. Like, you know, there's abundance here of all kinds. It's not just financial, it's spiritual. It's, it's nourishes every part of you. It is like the 10 of cups. Okay. So number 46, um, number that boils down to 10. Did I say 10? But we have zero. So zero to 10. Okay. Like it's like, they're being guided. They need to take this chance. They need to take this leap, be this fool and jump and go. Okay. Fool is ruled by Aries. So very Aryan energy here. Um, Neptune rules Pisces and Uranus rules, um, Aquarius as well. So that could also be in your person's chart. Oh, this is out of order. Okay. Uh -oh. Let's start it over. Okay. So they really want to communicate with you. We have the eight of wands. Eight of coins reversed, the queen of cups, seven of cups reversed, judgment, Oops. two of arrows, which is like two of swords and transformation. And then we have guarded. Okay, now we're going off the board. So let's do this. Okay, see, and now what is that, French? Okay, and I don't even know French, so interesting, right? Okay, so that could be something significant. You have this intuitive communication with this person. You have a very psychic connection. Um, it is rooted in um, emotional, in emotions. So Neptune rules um, psychics and what I'm doing right now, okay? mysticism, mysteries. Uranus is also one for mysteries. Aquarius is um, that air here that says like this person needs to make a choice, okay? If they need to make a choice between you and someone else, I am feeling that they know who they want to pick, okay? They know. Um, they know that they're going to get some type of judgment for this or backlash um, for this and that it might confuse others, but they know that like this is what they want. Okay, and what they want, and your energy could be this person, um, sorry, your energy could be the Queen of Cups or the person that if they if this is a third party, if they're with someone else that could resonate for some of you, there is gonna be a group of you that is, um, that there is some and group that they do not have a third party. So there's gonna be split, so split yourselves there. Just know that now. Um, so the Eight of Wands, like they have, wanna communicate with you. And they don't always know how to communicate and it may come off really harsh and, um, They've got, I think it's trauma, anxiety. Um, there's, they're feeling a lot of, a lot of like feeling attacked. I feel like they feel attacked with this and they have to protect themselves and they don't know how to do that with this protection card or they don't know how to protect you. Okay. Um, they want to court you. They want this to be something that is like, where are you guys going on dates? They don't want to just like, you know, and they want to talk. They want to talk to you. They want to sit and talk to you if you haven't already done that. Like those are parts of the things that they want to tell you that they want to do. Um, they may be needing to get the spiritual strength, this like Leo energy step into their power um, because with this individuality reverse, like maybe they're afraid of being judged for your connection. It is an 11 here. So this is very spiritual. This could be for going some, towards something spiritual. They may not understand what's going on with them. The people around them may not know what's going on with them. They may be going through a spiritual awakening and everybody around them doesn't know this, or a lot of the people around them don't know this. Um, but if they were paying attention, they would see, but this person is trying to like hide it and they just can't anymore. They can't hide who they are. Um, it just is going to come out of their mouth. The sound is here. Look like you guys connect through music. This person may be a singer um, or that when they sing, they think of you when they put on music, obviously, when your favorite songs come on. And you guys just, it's such a beautiful card. This card makes me just, whenever I get it, I just like sigh because it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy because I know what a deep, deep soul connection it is, especially when you connect on the... Um, 
on the level of someone's voice. Like hearing a certain person's voice, there have been quite a few people in my life and it's just like a melody. And then you just are like taken away. And sometimes you're just taken away by their melody, not even what they're saying. And you're like, can you repeat that? <laughs> like what just happened? Can you repeat that? So I feel like this person gets mesmerized by you. Um, they are, okay. They may be uh, relocating or on a quest right now. We have uh, geese here. So it says on a quest, migration, relocation, dependable, know where you're going, cyclical, and faithful. Um, there's three geese here. So number 14, which boils down to the number five. Fives are all about change. Um, I feel like that your person is uh, feeling that change, feeling the winter, of course, feeling the if it's cold, they may... Um, they may have, like, they may fly different places to, like, maintain, like, you know, like, some people go to Florida or, or some some people go, you know, like, they switch homes for winter. Um, so that could be what's happening right now. Like, your person could be on vacation. Yeah, okay. But they want something faithful with you. What, how they feel about this is maybe they want to take you away. Maybe they want this protective knight wants to come in, protect, and take you away. Um, and then we have the sun. So this is a masculine, usually refers to the divine masculine, your person being in the divine masculine. They now re recognize that there's like that term possibly. Um, they're trying to figure out if that, what that means, what a divine masculine actually is. Most of them have no clue. So this is just you knowing that this is a yes. Okay. So if you ask this question before you, you, um, came to the reading, um, if you asked a question like a yes or no, they're saying yes. Okay. And I feel like this person, you feel like sunshine to them. You, there's a yes, there's like sunrise and sunsets that are going to be very, very significant. This is about being radiant and successful and fulfilled. Um, this is energy and power. This person feels a lot of power with you. Um, the sun recharges them. I heard something the other day. It was like this, go sit in the sun and absorb the sun and get your vitamin D and to um, fill it up. Um, into your solar plexus chakra, um, into your sacral chakra, like it, it all, you know, like to open up chakras. And I was just like, it was like a visualization. I haven't done it yet, but I do intend to do it. So I feel like this person may be um, drawn to do those type of things or drawn into the sun or the sun is very significant. Um, you guys could have, you know, met, you know, or watched the sun in some way, sunsets, sunrises, things like that. So very beautiful energy. We have guarded. I want to let you in. I just don't know how to. So they're feeling very guarded at this time right now. They do want to let you in. Um, they feel more comfortable doing it intuitively than actually maybe coming to you and saying these things. You guys are sharing very psychic communication and t and you may be smelling or seeing or feeling or hearing all those clear, the clear audience, the clear sentience, the, um, the clairvoyant, like everything, you are connecting with this person very much through that, or they are trying to have that, to have that hope that they're trying to hang on to that. Okay, um, so they want they want you to. I know this sounds bad, and I'm not saying anybody should wait for anybody, but I feel like they have this idea that they want you to wait for them, um, that they're trying to get their shit together or something like that. They're trying to have the spiritual strength. They're trying to stand in their individuality to have this new beginning. Because look, we have a new beginning waiting for this person. So the divine is waiting for your person to pick up this new beginning and communicate and start anew and, and tell people how it really is. Okay. Because if they are with, um, if they are with someone, if this is the person that they want to talk to about, they want to tell you with this eight of coins, they, they, um, okay. So, you, okay. They're getting two, two scenarios. You may have communicated to them that you're done working at this, that you're not confused, that it you made a judgment that it's too late or that you may have given them an ultimatum, like do this by then, whatever, transform, get it done, okay? And you were just done, okay? That's for some of you. Others of you, they want to communicate to you, to you that something else in their life is done, it's over. They're not putting any more work into maybe somebody um, that they were with, this Queen of Cups. This is not a bad person. Um, this is someone who's emotional and loving and kind and compassionate. 
deep and sensitive and can be very psychic okay she could be a very good mother okay and this one she kind of looks like she might be pregnant here with the queen of cups okay so um you know like baby mama type of stuff that they're done that they're not confused anymore that they don't care if they get any type of judgment for this they've made their choice and they want to transform this and they want to come towards you and that's that's another um yeah, with the two of arrows reversed and then the transformation. Okay, you have two major arcanas out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Three, six, seven cards. So it's a very divine number, okay? So seven, look up seven. And you also have um, the warrior of love. Like this person wants to be a warrior for love. They want to fight for love. They also want to end some type of cycle that's happened, some fighting that you guys have may have been through or some disagreements or arguments. They want to cut through the bullshit, okay? They're disgusted in the fact that if there's interference in the connection, whether it's on your side, their side, or both sides, um, look, interference, so it is here, okay? So whatever that is, and third party does not have to be romantic, they're disgusted by it. They're like, oh my God, I can't even believe, like I can't even believe my eyes. And they're just like revolted. They're repelled by it. They're just like over it. They're just like, no, like, uh-uh. Like, I think you got to the point if they were in another situation with someone else or they weren't able to step into their power, whatever that reason was, whether it was family, friends, or another person, you were just like, this is disgusting. I'm better than this. I'm worth more. And you were like, nah, we're done with this queen of cups. You're like, nah, we're done. Like you communicated it. It was quick. It was very, very, I bet you if I clarified here, it was even harsh. Okay. So tell me this <laughs> because I feel like you guys just socked it to him, gave it to him. I'm very curious to see. Okay. Tell me about this eight of wands. It's like they start into the reading wanting to talk to you wanting to talk to you so badly that they would probably take up 30 minutes and be like, yep, mm -hmm, at least I got it out because they'll, they'll watch this video or they will see it or they will hear it or you will somehow click on this and be like, oh my God. <laughs> Nine of cups reversed. Uh, now we have something on the floor. Hang on. Okay, yeah, there it is. Boop, there it is. I was like, where did this come from? Where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Oh, wait a minute. Cotton Eye Josephine. <laughs> you guys, I made up my own song off of another song. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, you should see me. I'm ridiculous, on, usually on a daily basis, for sure. Okay, so yeah, we got the Nine of Cups reversed. Look at that. It's like somebody being like, yo, mm -mm. like get rid of this person um, now um, or choose me, choose one of us. Uh, no, I'm done. And Queen of Arrows, yeah, it's Queen of Swords in this deck was like, bam, put it down. Said some real nasty stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Four of Wands. Or broke up with you broke up with your person, this person, and they were crushed, they were devastated, and you broke up with them, or like you were like ending things with them because you're like, listen, you know, you've got someone else, and um, I respect um, that situation or whatever, or I, you know, whatever's going on here, like it was like this is over, like this is over for me. I am done. I am done with this. I'm done with you putting work or effort into someone else that is not me. Um, you need to make a choice. So for some of you, that's really, really strongly coming through. That's not going to be for all of you or but some of you, you were just like, I, this isn't working for me anymore. I need to go off in a new direction or I need to be with this queen of cups. So you guys may have left and gone towards uh, someone else. Okay. And this devastated them. This broke them. So it's it's your contract that you either broke or they, they broke it. Or once that happened, the contract is broken. And they need to get out. It's possible they're getting a divorce or getting out of a marriage or out of a commitment. So I think that that's what they're communicate. They want to communicate to you that they've been thinking about or that they've made a decision on. But it's almost like a, maybe a little too late. I feel like you're, I feel like you guys are kind of done. Okay. Uh, what needs to happen in the relationship or what they want is this playfulness, um, that playfulness energy there. 
um, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, and give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so these are things that they want, okay? Um, they'd have to let go of some control issues in order to do so. You guys would have to come back to some playful energy, start from zero. They want to start over. I feel like they, that's what they keep saying. I want to start over. Um, yeah. Wow, that communication came through so quickly. And so, yeah, here's that protection. So once again, protecting you, protecting what is sacred, protecting this relationship. They're very protective over you. Um, there's that intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. I don't know if I uh, held that up for y'all. So it's a very beautiful card. Uh, see, you guys, uh, it says I'm trying to be a better person. So this person, yeah, they're disgusted with themselves. If they brought this interference in or played games or whatever this nonsense is with you, uh, I'm, I'm very much hope they'd be disgusted in themselves as a person. And if it was you, you feel disgusted, disgusted in yourself. You're like, what the hell was I doing? Um, so this could be like a very high level twin flame soulmate connection because you know, you guys are highly mirroring each other, like big time here. I feel like it is intense that you're probably thinking like, this sounds like me. And of course it would be. Um, because of that. I wonder how you are. So they do wonder how you are and uh, how you're doing. We have snowflake crystal. This love bond is unique is unique as a snowflake once in a lifetime love. Yeah, they see your guys' love as once in a lifetime. It doesn't compare to somebody else. Um, I don't feel like you're even worried about that. I feel like for most of you, you're like, listen, I already know that we have divine love. This is the best card I've ever gotten in any reading. It's brand new in this beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, it is called um, the Paradise Found, uh, sorry, Paradise Found Oracle. And look at how intensely beautiful this these this line work is, this intense uh, beauty of the card. I just, I can't. This um, author is, um, an illustrator is amazing. So Dana McCucci, illustrated by Michelle. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys. So check these out and the backs are gorgeous. If you're a reader, you're probably gonna want these. So I'll put them down below. Um, I got them on Amazon and I'm gonna link that. So um, yeah, you guys have divine love. So you guys know that this love is divine and it goes way beyond <laughs> what is um, what they have with someone else. You know that. You're not insecure about that. You just know that you deserve someone who's a your attention is on you and they are not in a contract with someone else. Um, and I feel like that contract is dissolving. So just know that the contract with that person is dissolving. There's something about it that could be possibly ending. We have transformation with Pluto here. So very sexual connection. This person's very, very, um, turned on by you. Um, right before I did all of the readings before this, I had to like block out, um, someone who, um, just had to block someone. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna say, we're not gonna tell who. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, 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 bro. Okay, because Pluto is like, you know, Scorpio is like, la, 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 la. they get themselves in trouble because they talk. <laughs> you know, it's true. Because they give things away when they talk, the more they talk. Yeah. Okay, anyways. So Pluto is here to say that, like, there's a deep, deep um, transformative connection here within, within um, this dynamic. Uh, they want to tell you. Uh, the divine wants to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Okay. So it says you are safe in this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. So I feel like a tower moment's going to come in for your person and shake up their foundation and force them to move out of this contract. Um, and if they did break the contract spirit is like, no, 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 you were meant to stay and protect. What are you doing? Like, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. And so the divine is like, oh, well, you think this is just not, not any connection. Then boom, they open up the intuitive communication between the two of you and you connect. And then all of a sudden this person's like, uh oh, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, who's your divine counterpart again? Hold on. Wait, what? Um, what was so important about X, Y, whatever? Like, hmm, what were you focusing on? That wasn't this. Yeah, no, no more. Mm hmm. So this person is going through an insane amount of emotions. Like they're, fl they're flying out of this person. Like they are overflowing. They have, this person has an intense, um, energy. 
It says, only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. So I want you to say this out loud or in your mind. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Okay. Then we have ask. Oh, I love this. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Alrighty. So they're saying if you want help from the divine, all you have with this connection, all you have to do is ask, be open. They will help. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. What a beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, let me look at some of the astrological oracle cards here. The um, ones at the top, the Gemini, the Neptune. See how everything kind of um, aligns there. So, and I think it's, yeah, so they do them in, yeah, Neptune. Let's see. Neptune. Neptune and Uranus. All right, there. Okay, open to profound understanding of the world soul. Let compassion for all humanity guide your actions. Okay, so this is also here. what's here. This woman is holding on to this globe and it is huge and, well, it's huge, <laughs> it's huge. It's like a basketball and it's she's protecting it. So you're meant to, your person is meant to protect the world. Um, they're very protective over you and the, this connection. They wanna travel with you but they also want to know that they're protected. Like they're very much a, like a self, I don't know how to explain it. Like a very, in, they could be very introverted at times. Um, very, uh, very stubborn in their energy with Taurus right there. You know what I'm saying, Taurus? I'm not, not wrong. Okay. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Um, Uranus and Neptune. Um, open to profound understand. Oh yeah. It's the same thing we just read. <laughs> Oh, okay, because it goes back and forth. Got it. Okay, anything else? Um, and Pluto is the god of the underworld. Pluto, Pluto receives the soul after after death, excuse me, and offers understanding of the journey that lies beyond the earthly existence. Astrologically, Pluto reigns over the mysteries of death and rebirth, transformation, and significant life changes. Release, loss, and regeneration are all part of Pluto's profound lessons. Yeah, this person has to go through transformation, and it's like a it's like a soul transformation. It's like an ego death and ego loss. Um, and once they transform that, then they will be into a much more um, they'll be into a better situation for sure within themselves. And they're starting to see through things, okay? So they're starting to understand a little bit more, all right? So this is coming about in your person. So we have, I still see your smiling face in my mind's eyes. So that's really beautiful here. I love, love, love that. <laughs> so they do still see your smiling face. That's like the first time that they saw you. They do remember that. They remember that fondly. My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. So yeah, this person is always thinking about you. Their heart always comes back to you. doesn't matter who they are with and they're disgusted by their behavior. I do believe that they have some type of uh, uh, sadness over how they behaved here. So see, would I re be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? Okay, yeah. So they want to know if you would reject them if they contacted you, if you'd still be open to this connection. Let's see, how else does pile number one this person feel about them? Oh, goodness. Trapped in fear. Okay, so they're tra feeling trapped in fear currently. So they can't, number eight, they're having a trouble from going to eight to nine to getting the spiritual strength to having this hope. They are trapped in fear about the situation, about making a move. I'll tell them the one's person, but they know there's a destiny to it. Number 10, again, we had the 10 and we had the zero over there. We had two tens. 
on the board. Yeah, the warrior of love, okay? So they know that this is part of their destiny. They know that this is where they're supposed to be with you and that this is, that they can't, they're trapped in fear over their destiny because it requires them to have a lot of spiritual strength and maybe they feel that they are not ready and they would break a contract with you. That's also coming through for some of you. They don't want to cheat on you. They don't want to hurt you. Okay. Prosperity begins. Yeah. Number one, again, so starting new. This is a brand new start. So this person wants to start over. They know that this is their destiny. One and zero is one and one. So taking and the warrior of love, the fighting for this love and in a very valiant way. And I do feel like this person has a very romantic view on love. Some of them, they really do. They want that. They want to be the one that wins you, that wins you back is, is what they're saying. And that's where they know this prosperity can begin within your connection. Yeah. Okay. What else? Anything else? Any other messages for pile number one? Drunken words and sober thoughts. So they regret something possibly that happened during a time when they were drinking, when they were, um, when their thoughts weren't clear, um, the mistakes, the things they said when they were drunk, the things, not excusing it, just saying that this is how they feel. Either those things that you have said to them, they have said to you, they're, they're thinking, they're replaying those conversations over and over and over in their head but the love is overflowing. Like you, like they know that those drunken, those drunken words and sober thoughts that, that they're not real, that that's not true. So if you said something that, you know, just to hurt your person, um, when you were drunk or something, or they said something to hurt you, just know that that's not true. They do love you. They absolutely do. Yeah. But they feel like they're locked off or something's locked off or they're unable to get to you in some way or you're unable to get to them, that this love is overflowing, but it's, it can't flow. It would be taking a risk and that's where the fear comes in and that's where they get trapped in it. Dude, excuse me, that's gross. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> that's where they get trapped in it. And then there's all the, <laughs> all the burping that got trapped and it was like, gotta come out. <laughs> Super gross, sorry about that guys. <laughs> Okay, so we have past life. You guys have a past life connection. This is why this would be taking a risk, but it's worth it. And why? Because there's spiritual strength here. There's spiritual understanding. There is um, there is a need to give your relationship a chance, okay, and work on your partnership. And one of the ways is, and also, somebody may be like, you need to stop working so much. I feel like for some of you are, are, are putting effort into something that's not paying off anymore. It's almost like, okay, you, this is this is what's going on. Like here's where they may be telling you how to spend your money um, as well. Um, sorry. This is how they view their either their partner or you. Okay. Um, that you've been, that they, that your person that you're asking about works too much. And you're just like, no. Like, this is too much. Like, you need to put in the effort into me. You need to put it into me. I'm your queen of cups. I'm your person. I'm the one who can fulfill you emotionally. I'm the one who's been here for you. Um, I'm the one. <laughs> like, you're getting, I'm the one. Okay? So, uh, yeah. And you may have said that to your person. Like, I'm the one. Like, and you may not see it now, but you're going to see it soon. And uh, I got to go. <laughs> So anyways, cheers to y'all because I completely understand. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Uh, if you like, you can subscribe, comment, all those good things down below. If you like a personal reading, the link is also down below. Um, check out some of the decks that I'm going to be linking. I will link them to Amazon. They are, as a, I'm an influencer for them. So um, if you are interested in those decks, and I'm also going to list down Etsy as well. I don't get any commission from Etsy, but I would get a small commission from Amazon if you do purchase those decks. Um, so make sure to follow those links if you're interested for a deck um, down below and any of my lovely, lovely uh, creators on my channel, any of the people that I have um, brought in to, to the family that have brought me into their family. Uh, I wanna say thank you so much for uh, all of your personal readings, all of your encouraging words, 
uh, while I was in the hospital and all of your messages and all of your thoughts and prayers and everything are just magical. So thank you very much for that. And uh, you very much were, uh, thought I thought of you every day in this channel and what I would be doing right now. And I couldn't wait to get back um, to you guys. So thank you so much. I'm sorry that I have been gone. Um, but, uh, my heart procedure was pretty brutal. <laughs> so, um, I love you guys so much and I will see you for the next pick a card reading. Take care. Okay, everyone. So those of you that chose pile number two, this sun tablet, it's so beautiful. I can't remember the artist, but when I do remember, um, so my beautiful friend gave this to me, um, and I love it so much. Oh my gosh. It's just so magical. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you could be asking about a masculine. You don't have to be, but the sun is a very masculine, um, energy. We have, we all have masculine and feminine in us. So obviously, you know, this is, you know, twin flames. So remember that the, uh, sorry, I was looking at the Roman numerals. Um, remember that the roles could be reversed um, and you could be like, well, that's me. Well, yeah, because twin flames are so enmeshed. Um, so a lot of this information that I'm pulling could also be how you are feeling as well. So keep that in mind. So let's find out how your twin flame is feeling. Thank you everyone for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. You guys are amazing and wonderful on my channel and I just adore you so much. Uh, thank you for your personal readings. You guys have kept me very, very busy um, throughout the holidays. Um, I am back. I had a rather serious procedure on my heart, um, but I am slowly getting back to um, more and more um, strength every single day. So, all right, let's see what your twin flame feels for you or your soulmate um, or whoever you're asking about. This could be any type of connection. Let's get a little peek. That we're getting here so I'm sorry give me just a minute and I'm very quiet I'm just putting out the cards here wow okay there's so much energy going on here I'm, as I'm sure you understand you know being your being that you are part of your twin flame you know or um, you're still I'm, I'm getting very heavy heavy high vibe twin flame um, you know, this could definitely be a soulmate, but there's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. Um, it's going to get a little complicated. So let me unpack it a little bit because they are giving me like five different things that it could be for each one of these, which makes it a little bit harder to do the reading. It's fine. It's just going to take a little, it's going to be a little bit more, um, yeah, a, a lot more is going on. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, the person that you're asking about, I am just gonna kind of um, say, out, say the signs that um, came out here. We have uh, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Venus rules uh, Libra and Taurus. Um, so they could have this in their chart. They don't have to though. 
Um, we also have the Strength card down here, which is double Leo. We have Sacrifice, Temptation, and Desire, three heavy major arcanas. So, um, and we have Aquarius twice. Okay, so this could be somebody with um, air heavy in their chart or be an Aquarius. Um, you guys could have met during Aquarius season or things will start to speed up during that time frame or you'll start to see something happen. It says during the winter from January 22nd through February 21st, within two to four weeks is the timing. So this reading could resonate for the next two to four weeks um, and still be kind of lingering around and you might still be thinking about um, what I'm saying. And that's good because there's there's a lot going on here. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, your twin is your twin or your your person. Sorry, your person. I'm just gonna say your person. I don't know why I keep saying your twin, but you guys know that that's not by mistake. Okay, so a lot of you came here or picked. Um, you know, it's I'm getting very heavy twin flame. You know, vibes here. Okay, so what's happening is either you have a new love or they have a new love or you both got new love, something like that, okay? Um, somebody has a choice. We have new love and choice, okay? So if your person has a choice between uh, two different people or you have a cho choice between two different people, um, this person and someone else, um, one could be with, with a new love, one could be an old love, or there could be some choice within that. Um, this is also saying that like, if you feel like things are stagnant with this person right now or your situation right now, that the divine is guiding you to a new love. And at some point you may have to make a choice about this person. Um, or you may have to make a choice between people. Okay. Or your twin does something like that. We have love language. It says speak love language. Excuse me. It says speaking each other's language nurtures love to grow. So this person, um, the way they feel about you, they feel like you speak their love language. Um, the choice that they're making could be based on who like they can communicate the best with. Um, maybe, you know, that's what, you know, because Aquarius really does admire communication. Okay. Um, Leo's very much as well. There can be very, when you, when they're in the right mood, man, Leo's will just talk your face off and I love it. Um, they're amazing. They're, they're strong. They're, um, people may mistake their kindness for weakness, um, energy right there. So yeah, heavy, heavy with that, with that Leo and Aquarius energy, as far as communication is concerned, like this person admires someone who can speak their love language and that's how they make their choice. They're going to be making their choice that beyond be between these two people or, um, two things or, um, just you in general, there's no third party. There's not any, any third party. A third party can be anything. Remember, it doesn't have to be a love relationship, but this is, um, they're looking, they, they think like you speak their language. They don't think that they know that. Sorry. Um, yeah. And we have compassion here. Okay. So they're also looking for who is showing the most compassion to them. I know this sounds like a choice. I'm so sorry guys, but yeah, for some of you, it really is. They are, kind of weighing up their options. They're looking, um, they're trying to have compassion while they do this. So they're trying not to hurt anybody is what I'm getting. Um, yeah. So this person, if you're asking about your twin flame and your twin flame is connecting with somebody else, this could be the Aquarius uh, vibe here, the Leo here or the Scorpio or the Libra or Taurus. Okay. They, or they could have this in their chart. Um, so if they are, I'm going to talk about those a little bit first. Um, this person they're saying is not a, is not a, um, they're not a twin flame. Um, like your person, whoever your person's connecting with, um, and they are not a soulmate. They could possibly be a karmic. Okay. So, and they're also saying that, um, if they are connecting with a soulmate, um, there is some deception involved with this person. Okay, so this person tends to maybe lie to them, lie about flirting. That's what I'm getting. Lying about flirting with others. We have flirt. Okay. Um, what I am getting is that these two women, um, if there are two women involved in the situation or two men are totally different. Um, one, like one is like, how do I explain this? Your person feels like the person that you're with is deceptive. Okay. 
um, and they're trying to deceive you in some way, they may do it through flirting. They may see you as deceptive as well. You may be flirting with a soulmate and you may be making them jealous and they know it and it pisses them off. Just going to tell you that because it's true. That's what they're saying. Um, if you're the one who has stuck them in a third party, um, if they stuck you in a third party, um, you know, that is where they're still thinking about what they've done. Um, they still dream about you. So here's the dream. Something is revealed insight and breakthrough. And even if you're not on a third party, this person dreams about you. They have, um, have fond memories of you. Um, at night, they like, like it says here, there, there, there's another card here too. I think that talks about that, like about, about dreaming, dreaming about, about you. But yeah, um, where is it? I know it's here. Um, I'm almost positive there was another card that was talking about dreams. Oh yeah, I have dreams about you. Huh, sorry guys, here we go. <laughs> I have dreams about you. So this person is saying like, I have dreams about you. You and I, you know, we meet in our dream. You guys meet in your dream time. This may be the only place where you can meet, okay? Um, right now, their focus is not quite on love because Venus is reversed. So your person is trying to say that like they're trying to make fair and balanced decisions when it comes to love. And they're also, also having a hard time expressing love, especially with Aquarius reversed. When Aquarius is feeling like this, they are very much thinking in their mind. They're trapped in their mind sometimes. They can get very trapped in their mind. Um, <clears throat> they're not making a lot of moves because Leo is a very movement, action-oriented sign. Um, very independent and... Uh, you know, very strong, very uh, beautiful, very magnificent, very capable, but that energy is reversed. Um, they're kind of putting up kind of this scorpionic energy where it's like if anybody gets too close to them, they may lash out um, right now. And they're kind of feeling very, uh, they're feeling very jealous and very upset in current energy, especially if you're the one who's with somebody else. Even if they're with somebody else, there's like, there's some type of discontent here. Um, in this situation, when it comes to love, they're not fully happy here. They're not fully, there's something missing. And really, honestly, it's going to be you. Um, here's the passion, right? So this person, like, they think about the passion with you all the time. Um, they very much want this passion with you again. Um, they want to be able to, you to express your love or them to express their love. And they may be having a hard time right now. This is them having a hard time expressing their loves. Their love, they are having a hard time because... Um, they see some, some, you flirting with someone. You could be flirting with one of these signs too. Yeah. Or that you are getting close to someone else. It scares them, um, a lot. Um, but it also turns them on like Scorpio is here to be like, this person is just very passionate about you. This person is all about you. So they may see you, um, you know, that this is up in smoke with them. That this relationship is, has gone, um, up in smoke that there is, you know, some type of disconnect here. I'm having trouble speaking. So this person might be having trouble speaking too. Or communicating. But yeah, something's gone up in smoke here with the situation. This could have been because some of some deception. Somebody was flirting with a soulmate and somebody was like, oh, nobody's going to find out. And I don't know who it was. I don't know whose side it was. But they were like, oh, it's not going to be found out. But sure as shit, it was definitely found out. I feel like this is one of those things where you can't hide what you're doing, especially when you're twin and you are connecting with other people. There's going to be glimpses and times where your energy is going to be so uh, transparent to them that they're going to be able to see and feel that you're with someone else. Um, it's a painful situation. It does not feel good. It feels pretty horrible at times. Um, I've experienced it myself and it is not pleasant. Um, but you know, you get easy. It gets easier I would say in some ways to block out the connection and that could be with this Aquarius energy this is someone who's independent cool detached idealistic original assertive opinionated intellectual individualistic and eccentric and they shine like the star yeah absolutely and they have a star quality to them but they're also very reserved and they're also very very detached this Aquarius energy is very detached with Aquarius and Leo and Venus I get a sense this person's pissed off. Um, they're mad about something. Whether they're mad about themselves, they're mad about the situation, they're mad you know, at you, they're mad at their karmic or their soulmate, whatever the fuck's going on, somebody's upset. <laughs> so, okay. But yeah, like I said, there's third party involved. There's the card there. 
says it right here. So for some of you, and again, I'm telling you that just, it's just for, it's a, for the majority of you, but not everyone. This is why this person is maybe putting in very little effort and they're not very much like invested. Their pride is, has either taken a hit or they're not really sure um, whether they should put in the effort right now. Um, because if you're with somebody else, obviously they can't. Okay. And this is hurting their pride. Okay. Especially if it's, if it's that, if it's them that's with somebody else, they can't put in an effort or anything like that because they're too prideful to. So it's almost like they're going to hang on to this relationship, even though it doesn't even satisfy them or fulfill them. It lacks some passion. It lacks something, some chemistry that they're needing. Um, and they're, they're really trying to figure out how to, how to have the strength to, to make something out of like, so their life, like in whatever way, shape or form. Um, and right now they're just trying to have the strength to do so. Like I said, they're not super, um, focused on love. Um, but they are trying to manifest, um, this effort. They're trying to manifest the ability, the strength, the pride, like to get out of their pride, um, to do something about this or to figure it out. Um, so they are manifesting right now. So they could be manifesting a new love, um, in their lives. And I know that's painful to hear. And I understand that that's not what you want to hear, but they also could be trying to manifest themselves out of this third party situation and try to manifest some type of ability to kind of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> come towards you because we have standards and boundaries. This person currently is, is trying to stick with their standards and boundaries. Um, maybe they have seen those go up in smoke and they're, <coughs> or they see someone else's standards and boundaries like not existent and that bothers them and they either think it's yours or you think it's theirs. It's very, very intertwined. I'm sorry. I cannot tell here. Um, old footage eject. So this person would like to eject all of this. They would like to get rid of it. They would like to clean the slate. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Cause there's a scythe here. So sudden unexpected accident cut release, harvest, liberate, shock, surprise of reckoning. Uh, for some of you, this is going to resonate, but um, somebody could have gotten into a very bad accident recently and you're still trying to replay, you're still trying to replay this in your mind and it's, sh it's shocked to you. Uh, that's going to be for maybe one or two of you. But also this is them wanting to eject, um, like the situation, like they don't want to be in it. Like they don't even want to deal with it is what I'm kidding. Like they don't want to deal with it. Um, they don't want to put the effort in, you know, they're stuck in their pride. Um, there's some type of deception here and they know it and it's within their situation. So, um, however that resonates. Oh man. But this person is like not able to do so like very well. Like, so what's going to happen is the universe is going to come in and it's going to force this person to eject and this tower is going to come down because look, there's the tower and the scythe and the, and it's right next to each other. This is this Aquarius person. So whoever this is comes in and disrupts something. Okay. So yeah, queen of air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So that they could come in and it doesn't have to be just the queen, but that energy comes in and just kind of like knock something down. Um, all of a sudden, and it starts, it starts like a, like a domino effect. Okay. So somebody may, your person, if you said something to your person's, you know, to that third party that, you know, like a romantic third party. Yeah. It really, it toppled the tower. Or if you said something to your person, something changed within your person and that person, the third party, they know it. They know something's gone on. Um, you are my shining star. Well, of course, duh. So they do know this. They do know that your person has a lot of feelings and love for you. That they have a lot of passion for you, but they're, uh, trying to manifest either like a third party, um, because they feel like, like, I know that's not good. I'm not saying it's good, but it's like express, express your love. Cause they want you to express your love and it's a game playing. It's manipulative. It's not cool. It is what they're sort of doing though. Either you or them, you're trying to manipulate the situation by third parties interference somehow. I feel that very strongly for you guys and I just can't 
the message is just going to keep coming through. So I'm sorry, this, this may not be your pile if, if it's not, you know, if that's not the case, although it could still resonate. So, you know, just take, take what's yours and leave the rest. So we have reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive, make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. Okay, so it's saying you've been working really hard lately or this person's been working really hard lately and so they may be now rewarding themselves uh, for their significant um, accomplishments and the things that they have, um, you know, the things that they have done and it's spirit's way of saying it's time to kind of give back to yourself. So this person may be giving a lot to their children uh, or they may be taking care of others and now, excuse me, spirit is like, go ahead and take care of yourself. So your person may um, be doing those things. So you may be seeing them spending some money. We've got abundance here. So keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. All right, sorry about that. The camera died. So gratitude and bliss. So abundance here is showing like your person is working on abundance currently. Um, they may be very, uh, very self-focused is what I'm getting. And I know everybody's going to be like, oh, that's selfish. Well, no, really, honestly, you know, we can't pour from an empty cup. So I feel like that is what your person is trying to figure out how to do. Um, they are looking into new ways to make abundance. Um, we have destructive habits. So yeah, your person may have destructive habits and it's exactly what happens. It's either this or this Aquarius person does, um, whoever has heavy air in their chart. Uh, they could have some destructive habits and that tends to kind of uh, affect their relationships, their life. And so sometimes that does, uh, like they may have a messy life is what I'm getting. Like your person's, um, if there's a third party, that person is messy. They are destructive. Uh, they tend to have like a very quick temper with that Aquarius energy here. So, um, but but like I said, there's still, you know, there's some detachment going on there as well. So, and somebody may be pretending they're a soulmate when they're really not. We've got this thinking woman here reversed um, by the soulmate and the deception card. So those really tell me that uh, like somebody is really, is really um, trying to get out of their head. Okay. They think a lot. They're always contemplating something. They're always thinking about things. They're always looking at different um examining different aspects very logical they may like to read okay. and then we have mirror which would indicate a soulmate um twin flame dy dynamic but mirroring is happens in all relationships mirroring each other self-image relationship reflect our wounds introspection so this person may reflect a lot of our wounds and we have to heal them. One of the things that we're learning to heal in this lifetime is going to be one of um, having self-worth. Um, when third parties start to happen in any type of relationship uh, or destructive habits that are like their own, that kind of, that, you know, mess, mess up the connection and, and, you know, it's not really messed up, you know what I mean? Like affect the connection. Let me say the right word. So I apologize when it kind of affects the connection, you both are gonna be doing the same things. So if all this is like, oh yeah, and I just can't tell the difference exactly, it's because you're mirroring. So when one person is doing it, the other person is is mim mimicking and and it's going back and forth, back and forth. Um, so we have, have that energy very much. They reflect our wounds and we have to heal them. And one of the wounds that uh, is revealed uh, when we um, involve third parties, although they, you know, third parties never are gonna have they're not our twin flame. They're not, you're your twin. No one else can be your twin and no one else can say, you know, they could say all they want, but it, you know, it, a true, you know, twin flame, di twin flame dynamic will know, you know, when, when we pass on from this life to the next, but, um, understanding that soul imprint on your person means that, you know, that nobody else can take that away from you. So whether they're with the karmic, whether there's, uh, just a, just a family th or friends that are third party, or it's like a soulmate energy, they cannot take away the fact that you are one soul. 
So that is something that I've always taken comfort in and I hope that it will help you guys in this reading as well if this is your situation that uh, they can't take that away from you. There's nothing out there that can. Now they could spend time with your person and do all those things and be involved in their life and that is hurtful. Definitely, I totally understand that. Um, it's almost like not being able to share that. But you also share a third, fourth, fifth, uh, or sorry, fourth, fifth dimension, etc., with your twin flame or with this person that not many other people know or can access. And again, it is your relationship is between you and your twin, no one else. No one else knows the things that you share, the telepathy, the signs, the beauty between your connection. And that is something that I hope will bring you some solace because no matter what this third party is or isn't, looks like, doesn't look like, does or does or does or doesn't do, doesn't change that you are always going to be connected to that person always um, there's nothing that can destroy that all right so I hope that helps we have the six of wands with the strength card this person is trying to manifest some type of victory in their in their situation okay so they want victory they don't want to fight with the five of wands reverse they don't want people fighting they don't want to cause more drama um, they know that they would have to make a sacrifice or that someone in the connection would need to make a sacrifice for the situation. So sacrifice is here. And it could be um, that somebody is trying to hold on to your person um, when your person's trying to give them up and say goodbye to them. Because here we have temptation. This person is, tempta temp is tempted to go with something either that they know is bad with this destructive habit. So this could be this person around them. Um, that has bad habits, they're tempted to go in that direction, but that requires sacrificing you to do so. Or it is the other way where um, they know that they would have to sacrifice um, this connection because it's too tempting and there's too much desire um, for them and, and it could be too much, okay? So that could just be an overwhelm. You know how overwhelming the connection can be, how overwhelming the energy can be. It's very, very palpable between two twins um, and these are major major changes that are going on okay so um, it, it could be that this person is trying to get some strength to get out of a relationship they know they have to sacrifice somebody in order to come to you and they're tempted to do so because they desire you so much like they just can't get you out of their mind and here's why look it says right here I'm trying to move on but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them yeah this person cannot get you out of their mind they think about you all the time all the time okay they desire to be with you all the time and they're trying to move on with someone else but it's not working so don't don't feel don't feel like you know that they're moved on and that everything's just hunky-dory in their relationship that's not true it's not true at all and they may still be flirting with other people um, or their person is that they're with and that is something that is also causing some type of ruckus in this connection so yeah um, and they can tell, you know, other people when they're with someone who's not in love with them or doesn't love them the same way, it's very obvious. And no one will ever be able to take that place. And you're not supposed to, but it also can make somebody very, feel very, very insecure. There's still hope for us if you can take me back. Can you forgive and forget? So there may have been a lot of damage that this person did in here. This deception, this flirting, this soulmate with this you know, this person here that seems to be very self-destructive in your person's life. Um, I don't like the energy that comes off of it. It's, it's very manipulative. Like this, this person around your person, people around them are manipulative. So they've done some really messed up things and they want to know if you'll forgive them. I don't know. That's up to you guys. I'm not going to say one way or the other because that's free will. Um, then I'm going to have you guys read this card. I'm not actually going to say it out loud because I don't really know about YouTube, but um, they're thinking of you um, in very um, sexual ways, and they, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, that's where that passion comes from. They think of a lot of intimate moments between the two of you. They think of you being intimate with yourself while you think of them, and you know what I mean. We have, <laughs> so they're very, very physically attracted to you and they think about this a lot. They may dream about that at night. Like you guys, when you connect, you guys may um, have sex in the astral. And if you don't know what that is, I know that some of you have said that. Um, you definitely can just do a quick Google search. It will help you understand or you can email me directly. Um, 
we have um, highs and lows, the cycles of love. So this person is going through the highs and lows of love, trying to ride out this roller coaster here. Um, they're still trying to hold on to you, okay? Um, they're, and they may be holding on to a, a dead relationship within their own life, even though it is left. It, it's done. They're still holding on, but there's highs and lows, but it's like spirit is going to bring the tower in. And you'll see this with your twin. You know, the spirit's going to bring the tower in on things that are not built uh, on a solid foundation and will pff, knock it right over. Okay. So just, you know, have, have faith that, you know, whatever is meant to be will be. Um, and just keep moving on your path. You know, I feel like that's all you can do. Um, we have healthy choices. This person is, you're trying to mirror to them to make healthy choices, healthier choices. You may have told them, Hey, make better choices. Um, and et cetera, et cetera. And it says self-love, self-care and being happier. So again, this person is trying to make healthier choices. They are trying to look in this mirror at these destructive habits and how they've affected their abundance um, and how they've affected their healthy choices. They know that they need to kind of address that. They need to take better care of themselves. They need to um, start, you know, focusing on things that are more important in this life, you know, like the people that are around us and not the materialism and things like that. But they know that they can... Um, receive some abundance when they start working on these destructive habits they start looking in the mirror and they start making healthy choices so once they do that i think that they're going to cut this person out or these people out that are causing problems in your connection and they're hoping if they do so that um, you will want to be with them or they can manifest you back because um, they definitely want that here whether they're going to do it or not i can't say exactly but i do feel like they have the intentions of that here, trying to have a victory, trying to make this into a six of wands energy upright, not reverse or six of staves in this deck. So, and our last card and not least, it is so beautiful. We have, I want a family with you. So look, this person dreams of having a family with you. That's what they want with you. They know that your standards and boundaries that you have for them when it came to this situation, if they were the ones that fucked up badly, that those standard and standards and boundaries, um, their behavior um, destroyed the relationship because you kept up your standards and boundaries. They didn't go up and smoke, but you wanted to. You didn't want to have to have them anyways. You wanted to eject this old footage. You wanted this person to stop with their nonsense. To have, they needed to have better. I'm hearing your person needs to hear, needs to hear this, but they need to have this. You could send this video to them. They need to have better standards and boundaries. Okay, when it comes to especially this, um, I know I'm, I'm not ragging on Aquarius, but it is very heavy here. I am getting very heavy Aquarius vibes. So this person's Aquaria, Aquarian energy is very much in here going like, hey, like, yo, <laughs> like get rid of this person, okay? Um, and have better, stand in your power with better standards and boundaries. And don't let those go up into smoke, Um just because somebody expresses their love to you. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Because sometimes people express love just to manipulate you. Um, and it is a deceptive energy. So they may have per portrayed that they were in love and they loved you and they flirted with you and they, and they promised you all these things. And then it turned out to be nothing. There was no effort. There was no, nothing else. There was third party, um, nonsense interfering and at some point you were like eject, like this has to be ejected. We have to get rid of this old footage. And you may not be able to move on with this person because it's hard to get those thoughts out of your mind, especially if they betrayed you with someone else. It is like that. It is a consistently rolling camera that goes over your eyes for a long time behind your, behind your mind and your soul and your heart and your body. And it hurts and it is absolutely devastating to feel those feelings. And so it's like this person wants the end of that they want to see if you will forgive them if you guys can eject this old footage um you know where you know where are your standards and boundaries like are they still in place are you still um holding holding to them they're curious about you as well so they are wondering what you're thinking they want to know what goes on in your mind um they're very much trying to get into your head so headspace so if you feel them tugging on your energy or pulling cards on you or something that is because they're trying to understand what you're thinking, what you're feeling um, about the situation. And you may be really blocking them out right now, which is, um, 
it's causing them some frustration, but I think that they deserve it, especially if they have hurt you. So I think you guys have gotten to that point where as the, the viewer, you're like, mm -mm. like I have standards and boundaries. They're not going up in smoke. Anybody who doesn't abide by these will go up in smoke in my life. I will cut you out in a second. Aquarius is like that. So your person may be walking into also an Aquarian energy as themselves, not necessarily third party where they need to get rid of the people around them who are deceptive. These people are not soulmates. They are not, they're, they are lessons. Sure. You know, karmics are lessons. Everybody's a karmic in some way. Um, even, you know, as a twin flame, you are lessons. I mean, but they're different, you know, they're different, uh, labels here. And so it's like this person is pretending like they're a soulmate. They're not a soulmate to this person. So you're who, like I'm talking about your person, whoever they're, you know, their friends are saying, Oh, we're soulmates. Da, da, da. No, they're deceptive to this person. They're not, they don't act like soulmates when this person's, you know, are not around or, you know, things like that. They, they flirt with others. They, um, push boundaries. And this may be your person. This may be where you get, where you got fed up with their behavior and where they would pretend to be someone's soulmate. So it would be like, it's almost like that spiritual narcissism that they talk about. Please look that up because you could be dealing with one of those. Um, and everybody falls on a gradient here. So just know that. And I'm not diagnosing anybody. Um, I don't have my degree fully to do that yet. Um, so, but, uh, do have a lot of background in knowing, um, how to diagnose somebody. So here we are, um, with that. So spiritual narcissism could be what you're dealing with. So, um, check that out. Um, if not, I see a new love coming for you. I do honestly see that there's a possibility that you're thinking about manifesting a new love. And this person is like, Ooh, no, no, no. Like, no, it's me. It's me. You know, like, and once you start doing that, they're going to start like chasing you. They're going to start like, or they're going to start like thinking about like, Oh, uh Oh, like, am I even happy in my relationship? I feel like you reflecting, reflecting on them. What you're doing with your situation is now helping them reflect on theirs. And you both may be unhappy with the partners that you chose and you want to come back into union. So, um, that's very heavy for some of you. So I hope that that happens. Please comment down below. Let me know if you would like a personal reading. That link is there as well to Facebook. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can. And um, if this pile did not resonate, you can definitely pick a different pile. I do believe that maybe pile one and pile two are connected. So if you were drawn to both of those, uh, definitely try and check out um, if, you, if you're so drawn to pile number one as well. All right, guys. I'll see you for the next Pick a Card reading. Take care. All right, so if you picked pile number three, this lovely sun jar, this is your reading about how your person feels about you. So uh, this sun jar was crafted by my friend, my dear friend Lonnie. Um, she's a small business owner and lives in um, lives in Denton where I work, and she also owns another business there. It is called Juice Lab. So shout out to her and all of her amazing uh, talents. Uh, so check her out if you're um, in town. Um, check out her yummy concoctions that she makes. She uh, She's all about health and um, vegan and vegetarian and eating cleaner. So um, that's amazing. She also crafts a whole bunch of different um, witchy things. This is a sun jar and in it we have sunstone, pine, cinnamon, salt, rose, juniper and chamomile eee, it's so pretty and i absolutely love it and i have a moon jar as well so i have a masculine and a feminine jar so that's like um kind of like combining them together um so this is uh how you see your masculine as the sun as strength as uh something that wakes you up makes you feel alive okay so this person wants you to know that you make them feel alive the whole uh, basis of this reading they wanted me to tell you how much they love you okay so first and foremost your person wants to tell you how much they love you okay and it's a lot okay they also want to tell you that um, they are struggling between like a rebirth within themselves and this new beginning here number 16 and the number one okay and I am taking this reversed here, um, the way that it came out today, because it is blockages here for your person. And there I've communicated to spirit that that's how I'm going to read those. 
So currently what's happening is your person is stuck between wanting, is like trying to end a cycle in order to have a new beginning. Okay, that could be a karmic cycle with another person, whether that's a friend, family member, or a person, or something within themselves, okay? Um, because we have self-love here. And um, this is really important. Your person uh, needs to work on this and their inner child and some of the things that um, they can, they want to heal or that need to be healed have to do with things that happened to them when they were a child. Okay, I'm getting that they're... Um, they feel like that, they're also saying, this is weird, they're saying that self-love mantra is bullshit and that it's toxic. They find something toxic about it. Um, now, I I understand because it's like always pushed down our throats during the path, like when we go on a spiritual path and we're on a spiritual journey. For those of you that are already on your journey and have found my channel like myself and many others that watch, you guys know that um, it takes a lot of work um, to figure out where we were not loved when we were children. Um, so this is like exploring that. This is exploring toxic relationships. This is exploring why we're drawn to toxic things because that's what we know, um, because it's what we were raised in. And it's being able to realize that these things are toxic because we have toxic right here, right next to self-love. So spirit tells me a story when I read. So this is a huge story for me. And um, I found out that's just how I read just after trying many different things when I first uh, started my channel. I went through many different ways of reading. If you've noticed throughout the years, everything has kind of shifted and changed and I've shifted and changed and you guys have come along with me and shifted and changed. So this is what this person is really trying to do. They're trying to figure this out. They are tired of hearing the whole like, yeah, love yourself, blah, blah, blah. Like, but I think they're now realizing that that is so true that they, that they definitely can't give you love until they love themselves, until they've they've gotten some type of understanding about how how to love themselves too and where where it went wrong for them okay why they felt like this lack of self-love um where you know why that um you know why that's not there for them okay so they want that could go on forever about those two cards for sure so we have venus here this is also another reason that i'm saying that you know, your person wants to tell you they find you physically beautiful, very attractive. You, They like your hair. They like the way you dress, especially if you have something to do with like seashells or mermaids or some type of uh, like draw to the ocean. Uh, that's also going to be very significant here. So Venus is all about uh, love and harmony. And it's just really beautiful. So they want you to know that they also are working on themselves. They're working on that self-love, that Venus is here. They're working on that so they can give it to you. Um, that's definitely that energy here. Gemini, they want to communicate here with you. Gemini is a very chatty sign. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini or they could have Gemini or in their chart. Okay, that could also be you. Remember, this is this could very well mirror your energy because we are talking about some connections that are going to include twin flames, Okay. And also those soulmate connections or soul, basically soul to soul connections is what I'm going to call all of these from now on because, you know, I'm tired of the labels. <laughs> it's even bothering me. It's like, oh my gosh, okay, this is like the label is toxic. This is that because it can be because there's a lot of misunderstanding um, about twin flames and the twin flame community. Okay. And there's a lot of what everybody calls spirits knowledge coming down and whatever that is toxic. Okay. And is not true. Uh, but there, you know, that's kind of for you to piece together. Um, and that's how you find your channels and your people and your soul family. So maybe this is also something that you need to teach your person. This is also like, um, how, how to start your new beginning here because they, de they definitely want a new beginning with you. Okay. Um, but they need to love themselves first. Here we are. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So the more that, um, the more that you are confident they love that about when you're confident, your confidence makes you more romantically attractive. They know that if they love themselves first, that's going to totally make them extremely attractive, attractive to others. And they're also going to be like, dang, I did the work, you know? Um, we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so 
This is another thing. So they, they're hoping that you'll trust them. Maybe you, maybe trust was broken here because they want to reconcile, but they know that they'd have to commute. Somebody has to communicate. All right. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. And with the trust, it says the situation is calling for you to have faith. So both of these things they're hoping can happen. They're hoping a reconciliation could be on the table, that maybe some trust comes in and that will build that first. If they can love themselves, then they can trust you. You can trust them. You can build up this trust. You guys could reconcile. It looks like this is going to happen very, very soon for some of you. Okay. We have very soon. And when I see that card, I absolutely feel it as, you know, very like exactly like it says very soon. It says clearly, this, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. So this person maybe, oops, sorry. This person told me to mess the camera up. This person could be trying to figure out how to get to you very soon. Um, how to tell you these things because it says spirit message. I will always love you. Okay. And if you wondered if this person, this past love that you're asking about their past love and you're looking for closure, it's saying that they will always love you. The love for you will never go away. Okay. Never. And then we have harmony. Okay, so they're just working on harmony as well. Spirit, body, mind, number three. So you could have known this person three months, three years, three days. I mean, for some of you, I mean, obviously this this doesn't, I don't think it's days, but more like months, years, three weeks, something like that. Um, but, you know, it's very possible that you're asking about somebody like just brand new and um, very interesting to see like how they feel, right? Um, so right now they're working on harmony in their self, like we said, self-confidence back over here, self-confidence here and productivity. They know if they can come in, if they can really be powerful or experience that power that is within them, that they will and get productive and get those things done in their life, that this will help build their self-confidence. Um, they will feel so much better about themselves and their lives and they will be really working on that power right now. So I feel like that's what, that's at the core of the situation is power right now. Your person is really trying to figure out how to balance out the power um, between, because everything is kind of like, it, it's okay from here and then it just gets messy. Okay, so as you get deeper into your person's life, it, they may be hiding that it's very messy, okay? Um, we have this beautiful card right here. It says, I want to talk to you, but I'm afraid. Ooh, okay. So they want to talk to you. They want to initiate some conversations with you. And if you guys haven't spoken for a long time, the reason that they haven't done so is because they're afraid. Um, some of you, this is also a third party situation. We have torn between two lovers, number six here. So your person could be, um, Re, they, again, I'm getting like a very resistant energy because of other things. Okay because of differing um, dynamics. And some of them could be because of that, um, that two different people here, but not for everyone, okay? Uh, we have, I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you moved on. Okay, so they feel like maybe you have already grown apart and even though maybe they have a feeling that they are torn between two lovers as well in their own life. Um, and they're wondering like, you know, they, they see you and maybe you've already, you're already with somebody else and they're like, well, you know, like, what is that going to do? Like if I come back, you know, but they're resisting their desire for you because that it's so powerful because your situation is so incredibly intense. Cause I can see it's intense here. You got rebirth, you got new beginnings. You've got, I want to talk to you, but I'm afraid, um, reconciliation very soon. This is really interesting. So, so yeah, this person, they think that maybe you guys have grown apart and maybe that's, they're also scared that it's too late that, and, and that you moved on, that you want nothing to do with them. And obviously you wouldn't be here if you didn't really have some type of either curiosity or you didn't want something to do with them. So, but I'm not going to call you out too bad today because <laughs> you know, no worries there. Um, no judgment. So it says, I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. So this person definitely keeps an eye on you. They are definitely checking out your socials and finding out, trying to find out information on you, what they can find out from you. And yeah, it's very, very, uh, very interesting energy uh, there because it's, it, it's definitely this person wanting to, like they want this new beginning. They want this rebirth. Um, we have this card and I am not familiar with it. So I'm going to read out of the book. Although we've gotten this card many times on this channel. This is Devas. 
Um, and the third eye is really lit up here. So let's really see what your person wants to tell you about that. Um, very interesting energy when it comes to that card. It's just like, yeah, it's so much so that this page is all kind of weirdly, and I take really good care of my book, so that's odd. Maybe I took this somewhere. Okay, so it says, master your own energy, take appropriate action. Yeah, so your person needs to master their energy in order to take appropriate action on the situation. Devas are highly evolved nature spirits that make their way across all realms. Every part of the world is alive with nature spirits. Devas are found in water, fire, trees, and crystals. These intelligent beings follow the law of karma, manipulating energy around our thought patterns to achieve specific results. Okay, so your person may actually have this uh, quality within themselves that is able to do so um, with their energy. They're able to manipulate energy and receive specific results that way. They are highly evolved spirits here because, like it said, that you have highly evolved nature spirits. And they are found, like it said, in every element. So your person is kind of seeing that everything is connected um, and how they're seeing that they now are going to be able to master their own energy. And um, then they're going to be able to kind of play with their gifts a little bit. Um, this could get a little bit toxic or could get a little out of control if this person doesn't isn't careful. So it says, learn about your reactivity to issues and events. Gain greater insight into your being. What are you putting out to the universe? Ask the devas for help with your with this task so you can move through life's changes with ease. Um, this is also encouraging a person to work with crystals and the vibration of crystals. Uh, it says working with crystal devas can align you with the vibration suited towards the shift you are looking for or physically working on. So there's something that is blocked within your energy field. You can use uh, crystals. This, your person can use crystals in order to do so to help shift them. If you would like to help shift your person, you can do that as well. Yeah. Yeah, they, this is all about living with peace, love, and happiness. That's interesting. So it says right now you're being guided to connect to all devas of the earth realm. So your person's being guided to connect to them. It says take a gentle walk through bushland or gardens. Visit ponds, lakes, or streams. Spend time connecting to the breath of nature. Communicating with devas in this way supports a positive lifestyle. Planting and nurturing your own garden in pots or in soil creates a happy space for devas to play in. Creating a happy relationship with the devas encourages them to work in your favor when you request their assistance. So if you want to make a fairy garden, that's also going to be significant. I know this is about your person, how they feel about you, but this is also going to help your situation as well with them. Um, it can work on any condition or illness, um, which, which is clear quartz. Um, so that definitely can help you with whatever you're looking to work on and it will help you with that energy and moving energy. So if your energy is stuck and it looks like your person's energy is stuck, um, crystal work, meditation work, Reiki, that, that type of things, those are going to help, um, and they'll help with you, um, to connect with the devas and your person. This person could be a Capricorn here. We have the King of Earth, and it specifically represents Capricorn, but it could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or have that in their chart strongly. We have the Strength card here, which is Leo. That could also be uh, your person's zodiac sign. And we have Scorpio here, and I'll get to Scorpio here in a minute. Um, Scorpio is very passionate, very loving, uh, very deep, very sensitive, very kind. Um, they are funny. Scorpios are funny as hell. Um, they're fiercely protective. They are incredibly loving. And um, they also sting as bad as they feel hurt. So they have their defense mechanism just like anybody else. Like the crab for the cancer has, can for the sign of cancer, has its shell, okay? Um, the Scorpio scorpionic energy has its shell here, but it also has a tail that can sting and really hurt. Um, it also has its front you know claws as well so it's a very a, can be a very aggressive animal if provoked same as a scorpio that is exactly how scorpio is so your person um, may be kind of snappish they may be very curt or um they may have distanced themselves from you but it's because of the you know they're resisting 
they're resisting their desire for you. They know they have some healing to do. They know that this has to happen once they come into some type of self-love. Um, they do want to talk to you, but they're definitely afraid, okay? What really needs to be worked on is the seventh chakra, which is Archangel Uriel. Seventh chakra is the, I think that's our crown, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's the crown. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, it's purple. So the color purple could be significant to your connection. Um, let me read that here. I would like to just read a little bit into it and see what it says. If I've got the book here. Yes, I sure do. Because some, some of these have um, some really interesting, uh, the, the book actually tells a lot more so about what it wants us to know about this card. So I really like this. Okay, so spirit connections, intuition, and inspiration. Okay, yeah, of course, you know, with that being the seventh chakra, we are going to be receiving divine messages and divine guidance, okay? So the beautiful angel Uriel, also called the fire of God. Okay, fire of God. Wow, that is pretty intense wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. Um, also get some amethyst. If you don't have that, it is a very psychic, powerful stone. I use it a lot on my channel. Um, it is one of my first stones that I, or sorry, crystals that I ever had. So um, yeah, definitely that's gonna help with, with uh, spirit connection. It says she brings great power to your seventh energy center, which is called the crown chakra and is located at the top of your head. So you could use that there on your crown chakra, some amethyst or use some clear quartz. That will always help. This card upright indicates an open and free flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a time of great intuition for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. Now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great, and whether it's the presence of an ascended master, a powerful angel like Uriel, or just a loving friend or family member in spirit, their love and willingness to assist is always there. They even open you to the Akashic Records or Alaya Consciousness. Okay, so look up Akashic Records or whatever Alaya... I don't know what Alaya Consciousness is. The storehouse of all information. This connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. Interesting. So in order to receive messages from your person and from spirit, this person is working possibly on their crown chakra. If they are spiritual, if they are not, this is um, something that is being guided and assisted. Um, you may be working on yours and that may be opening up your persons. We have seeking out old love. Okay, so it looks like, you know, that this is that person. They may still be seeking out old love. Um, this is why they could be torn between two lovers. Um, it is someone that they have loved before. Um, for some of you and others of you, it's just you are the old love that they're seeking out. So um, we still see that look like I keep track of you from afar. They're still seeking you out that way. They're still keeping an eye on you. Um, they have a desire, but they to come towards you and talk to you, but they're afraid. And, and, you know, this could be very well, you know, someone that you, you've had a lot of, um, a lot of memories with and we have needs. You have what I need. Ooh, baby. You got what I need. Yeah. So absolutely beautiful. So there, they want to also tell you that you have what they need. They are seeking you out, um, that, you know, you, I'm feeling like don't, don't compare yourself to this other person. If there's another person involved, um, that is one thing that is, will sabotage. And this is kind of the theme of these readings. Um, so if you haven't watched Powell two and one, and you'd like to know what I said about that, definitely check that out because that may be significant as well for, you know, how we look at third parties and, um, you know, I've gotten to a really interesting place in my dynamic where, um, with the third, with the third party, when I, whenever I know or feel or whatever that that is the case, um, you know, it really doesn't bother me anymore. But again, there are moments, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect, that, that there aren't moments that it doesn't bother me and that that's not going to bother everyone, you know, that is watching. However, it gets to the fact that like there cannot be the person that your person is with, um, that that's not their twin or that's not, you know, your connection is not the same. 
your relationship is not the same and nothing is the same and it shouldn't be and there's there's no comparing it okay you can't compare um or you can't compare them but it's unfair to do so because every relationship is different okay so that's beautiful we have stars here so this is wishes peace nighttime falling in love blessed hope dreams inspired providence and miracles so literally like the star card um, this person feels like they, you know, they wish upon a star. They may look up at the stars and think of you. This really could happen during nighttime. Um, they think about the times that you guys have been together at night where you were falling in love. Um, they go through like the, their dream state. They dream about you. I feel that as well, um, that you inspire them. And that's really beautiful. Like your connection is something that inspires your person to, you know, for this miracle here. Um, we have more love over here. Look at this love. Oh my gosh. You guys have all these cards about love. Like your person could not love you more. They do. They love you so, 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 so much. And it's like, it's like oozing from the cards. And I, I absolutely, I think it's just wonderful. So yay. <laughs> yay for you guys. Cause that's amazing. We have the wheel of fortune. So this is one of the best cards in the deck for me besides the sun. Wheel of Fortune is good karma. This is, they're hoping that the wheel will change, that fate and karma karma plays a part in this and that your destiny, if you guys were destined to be together, that you will be, that there's gonna be some type of synchronicities that you guys could see. Um, there's 11, which would be here with the number 38, the number seven with the number 16, which is also uh, talks about like a spiritual life path. Um, you'll want to, you want to look, may want to look those numbers up more so you can go in more in depth. Um, but they're definitely seeing the synchronicities. They're seeing them in the stars. They may, um, look up at them. You know, right now it says during the winter, this is Capricorn season coming up here on the 22nd. So that's really going to take place. And then everything's going to shift into that season. So I feel like this next cycle that you guys start to go into, what could be your new beginning starting in Capricorn season. Okay, you guys could come back together. So I have a step, some of you are, are still in separation. Um, we have separation here, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of the future. So yeah, feeling that separation. If you guys are apart, that could really be weighing on you guys. Your last conversations you may go over with, you know, due to like having coffee together, um, but you may want to meet up and have coffee, converse, um, have some friendship. Um, this person may be just kind of meeting up with friends, drinking some coffee, and they may be talking over this love, like with this person. They may be talking about your relationship, um, how they're trying to just have this paradise here. So it, this talks about happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. So they enjoy the times that you have together. They enjoy this. They're trying to enjoy their life, okay? Um, they're trying to understand the separation and why it happened. And that's very um, significant to them as well. So it's like this energy of like wanting to figure out what their paradise is. Um, they do not want to be in separation. They do have so much love to give. Okay, this passion, this affection, this attraction. Um, and, you know, maybe they are, you know, torn between two people and they don't know what to do because they love you. Like, I'm going to put it out there. They may love you both. You know, that could be the situation or that they don't want to hurt anybody. Um, that's also coming through very strongly. But... For those of you that that's not the case, this is really the separation between you guys is, is really hurting them. Um, they would like to come back together, maybe have a cup of coffee, um, seek you out, find you online, see if you'd be open to talking um, here, especially with that Gemini. And we have Grace here. So um, this card is different here in this deck. So let me um, pull that. Uh, let me pull this because it's definitely a, meant to be for something um, and the major arcana is here, so it is different than a traditional deck. So let's see here. The star. Oh, you have the star again. Um, lovers are Dante and Beatrice. The keywords is inspiration, hope, and dreams. Love that inspires us and inspires others. Oh, see, they do feel that your love inspires others, inspires them. They know that they can do amazing things. You, if you're away from this person, they are still inspired by your love for them and their love for you and that you guys have still, 
you know, you still hold this flame for each other still to this day. Wow. Turning dreams into reality, awareness of goals. This person is really about change. They want to change their dreams from just being dreams into actual goals. And they're trying to figure out how to do so. They don't want to hurt anybody with the five of arrows reversed. Okay. They're definitely not trying to hurt anybody in this situation. Um, they are trying to take the most, uh, diplomatic way out. Um, the one that gives them less judgment as well. Cause I feel like they might be someone who cares about what someone thinks. Um, but <clears throat> you know, usually not Scorpio and Gemini though. So, you know, if you're dealing with those, um, there just need to be ready for that type of judgment choices, passages, and changes so that they could be, have to be ready to make the changes. They have to have this, they want the strength to do so, or they're working up the strength to be able to do so with that strength card here. And then we have the six of staves, which is the six of wands. So that's a victory here. That's this person riding victoriously into battle for what they believe in. They understand that there's going to be just some judgment, um, towards them, possibly, you know, negatively for this, but they are willing to stand tall in what they believe in and the things that they believe in and to fight for love and to fight for, um, their dreams. Okay. And to make them a reality. I feel like that that's very, very strong here. Um, then we have play and relationship. That's really, really sweet. Okay. So your person is, is trying to play more, um, and be loving and be present in their relationship. And this is really significant to, to their growth right now. So if they are with someone else, I know as painful as that could be to hear, um, right now they are, um, they're focused on that. They're focusing on playing and, and being happy and being like hearted and that playful energy, they're trying to get into that playful energy. Maybe that relationship brings a lot of playful energy into their life. And they really love that um, about it. And it really, you know, it sparks up their joy, a joy within them. Um, and other, if it's, you know, they're not with anybody else, they are just focusing on being playful and their relationships with their friendships and their family and things like that. Currently, they are working on themselves mainly themselves here. So this person is really, really self-focused, which is good because that is helping them become more mature and understanding of their, why they are the way they are and to help them kind of grow past that and to get rid of any toxic energy and, and unhealthy, bad energy. I'm just call it all that, like all that energy and to, and to get, and to try and work through it. And to get rid of those things that are in their life that are making that, that are keeping them in that toxic energy. So we have this beautiful month, beautiful last messages. These are my messages here. It says, I want a family with you. Oh, so this person wants a family with you. Um, they dream about those things. Um, very family focused. Capricorn is very um, resourceful, disciplined. They're grounded. They're realistic. Um, they are wise. This is a very, very, um, a very, very, how do I say this? Ugh, I'm trying to come up with the, with the words. Um, a mesmerizing person. This person easily gets wrapped up in people's toxic toxicity around them and they may not realize it. Okay. Cause we have the devil here. It's almost like this person is in that, you know, kind of devilish and energy of just kind of being tenacious, being, um, being toxic, you know, so this person really has some toxic habits and they're really trying to break them because they know that they cannot move forward and have a positive cycle in their life. With the wheel of fortune. Um, if they're stuck in a toxic pattern, we have past life trauma. So this person wants to tell you, you guys have some past life trauma, um, together. This could have to do with you guys may have met during childhood, um, in a past life or been children in a past life or been together in a past life and whatever happened, in that caused some um, bleedage into this life and some kind of spillage. Excuse me. And now it's like trying to pick that up, trying to, trying to, or trying to um, break the pattern. And then we have, I don't know what to do. So this person doesn't know what to do to make the situation better. They may be having a hard time figuring out what to do. So they may do nothing um, or they may just decide to focus on themselves especially if they're torn between two people or two situations, um, that could be really hard for them. They may not know what to do. They may not know how, what the right decision is. 
and they're trying to get into this Gemini energy of this analytical, this logical energy um, to kind of figure out their emotions with Scorpio and kind of work through them and work through the, the love that they feel and kind of understand themselves, understand their relationships better, understand what they want from life and move accordingly to that. So that's that energy here with that six of wands, that, that energy of um, some type of victory here in your connection. So they would like a victory. They would like to, to reconcile with you, maybe have a cup of coffee and have a conversation. For most of you, that is the case. And they are struggling with that currently. So um, hopefully that they can work through this and they will find the courage and the strength to do so here to have this um, conversation with you with judgment. I feel like this conversation needs to be had. Maybe a few things need to, or a lot of things need to be worked through. And I feel like your person may be coming to you for a new beginning or expressing that to you um, at some point, uh, or there'll be some type of uh, reconciliation and run in with your person or some type of uh, written um, communication or like a phone call. So that could, that could be on its way. So please let me know if that happens um, in the comments down below because I would very much like to know. I thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you would like a personal reading, the link is down below. I am um, booked, almost booked up this week. I have one more um, slot open. So if you'd like to get in, please let me know soon because that is the next person to uh, email will get that slot. So um, it is going, going and almost gone. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel and I'll see you for the next pick a card reading. Take care.